Hello everyone, so today I have this little traveler's notebook sized journal to share. It is packaged for sale in a art market or craft market and I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. So first I will show you it's themed in a sewing theme from the Your Creative Studio supply subscription supply box that I get. This is the December 2022 box. Not a whole lot left here of the themed supplies. Um, I didn't use this purple washi, um, but here is the little roll of washi tape here. These are the stamps. And then these were the papers that came in that box. And this is what's left. I still have the charm and I'm going to keep that and I still have this lovely crochet piece that came in it and then this is pretty much what's left of the papers um, and this is that beautiful packaging from the pair of lovely scissors that came in that box also which I really like those um, so I'm going to set that aside the stamps I have in this little baggie to keep them together and we'll go ahead and go on inside. It's 44 mixed junk journal pages, front and back. And that's my little packaging there. Of course, I've got it upside down here. So for the cover, I used one of the pieces of paper that came in the subscription box. And some of the pages in these ones are so old that I've had to reinforce in places. Um, and these are just stapled, they're not stitched. So, you know, that's not as, I guess, not as strong. Um, behind this paper, I put some cheesecloth because I like that look. Plus, I think it kind of lends to the whole thread sewing theme. So going inside here, I've used one of the thicker pages. Um, uh, papers to make a pocket here and I've edged around it with the washi tape and then I've got some extra papers here. These are they're a little bit thicker so they make a nice little tag and then again from the paper I just this was an extra little piece I made a little uh, tag out of it. It's almost like a bookmark. This is a magazine page that uh, shows like a little embroidery ho hoop. can't talk. So I thought it went with that. This page is probably what inspired me to do it in a sewing theme. And then this is the sticker paper. I think I used up all of the sticker paper that came in the box. So to cover up the page, the back side had food on it, you know, which didn't quite go. So cover that up. And then this was a scrap that has brayering off of ink or something pretty. I've made a little tuck here and another one of these and this was a magazine page that kind of had a junk drawer but it's got things in it that look to me kind of sewing like so I think it fits the theme there. More of the I think that's sticker paper not entirely sure and then some scraps here and this is coffee dyed paper beautiful another sticker there another scraps to cover up and actually not just to cover up but this I'm probably not going to use such a vintage book page anymore because it's just too brittle it just did not have the strength that I want it to last a lot longer so yeah I had to reinforce it here um, so this is more sticker paper and scraps and then this is ledger paper with I use some hybrid eh, I don't like this ink that much but it's kind of that's the sewing machine. It just doesn't stamp too well. This is uh, oxide ink here probably. Either that or I'm not sure. I think it is oxide ink. It shows up much better. Um, the Distress Oxide Ink. And that's the, uh, what is that, measuring tape one? The stamp. More of the sticker paper and washi. On this side I had some scraps of some lined paper. And you can still see the text behind um, which is kind of nice I like that layered look and then we have some of the washi there and uh, actually these did not come in your creative studio box I wonder where I put those ha here they are um, these are called peg stamps and from pegstamps.com and it's the I think it's the tapestry set so this set has five stamps in it and so this doily, just the doily, right here is from this peg stamp. This bobbin is from 
the Your Creative Studio ones. So, but I have these and they're sewing themed, so I did use them in here. And then this uh, th thread, spool of thread, yes, that's my words, is from the Your Creative Studio. <coughs> Your, your creative studio one. And then here, down at the bottom, you can see I used some of the peg stamps. There's the button, the little cute safety pin, and the scissors, and I kind of just randomly arranged them. The thing I like about the peg stamps is they have this line here to help you line it up, so you know that is that this is the bottom of the heart. You can, I don't know, know where you're stamping it. It's kind of nice. If that makes sense. Oh, I forgot. There was a sticker sheet too, which back here is what's left of the sticker sheet. Uh, yep, I used them all. But they're cute, and so that came in the Your Creative Studio box. So here is the pair of beautiful ornate scissors that was on the sticker sheet, and they are the stickers are throughout here. I probably put one in my reference book as well, but mostly I used them in here. More. This is some random washi reinforcing my seam there, and then we have the washi from the box, and some sticker paper and scraps, and then this was packing paper from like a shipment or something, and again I have the Your Creative Studio stamp and then two of the peg stamps there in the bottom. Reinforced the center there, covered up the stitches. There's another sticker. Um, and this is sticker paper, and then I did a cute little border here, and I sort of just, so I used this little line mark here to just kind of rotate them each time. So we have, is that making sense? Not articulate. So we have, you know, one of the safety pin angled that way, then this one straight up and down, then this one that way, and so that is a nice feature of that line. You can align it and have some idea of where you're stamping it, because otherwise I would have no idea. Here's some more of that lined paper, and a sticker, and then this is stamped probably in oxide ink, and it stamps much better than that other, what other random ink I was using. The purple was the perfect color, but it just didn't stamp very well, so didn't want to do that again. Here are, I think, yeah, this must be one sticker. It's a nice little layered look there. And here's a smattering of stickers. One, two, three, I did five of them here and just kind of laid them out. That is probably a seam ripper. Um, kind of hard to tell, but since I I know what a seam ripper, I think that's what that is. A thimble, two buttons, and a tiny pair of sewing shears for snipping threads, probably. This, I'm not sure what this is. Is it a hat pin? Is it a letter opener? Not really sure, but it's pretty. And that's a sticker also. And then this washi is from my stash. It's kind of burlap looking. I liked that. So we have magazine page here. I just left it um, blank. And then some more of that washi from my stash and scrap papers and some sticker paper. And again, magazine paper, scrap paper, washi. There are two more of those stamps uh, from your creative studio. A little doily stamp here from the peg stamps, and then I thought, oh, I should put some doilies because I have just innumerable amount of these cute little coffee cup doilies. But I love to use them in journaling, and it really, it really goes with that sewing theme because it looks like you know a crocheted doily or something. And so yeah, more scraps and sticker paper. This one is from the box, and then I made a little corner tuck here with a scrap of one of the thicker card. And then this is another piece of that. Here's the other side of that brayered off paper. This is actually wrapping paper. Yes, it is. Um, but it's a craft wrapping paper scrap that I had in my scrap bin. And then I have another scrap of sticker paper here, scrap of coffee dyed paper, and three more. Um, these look like buttons from the sticker sheet that came in the box and then this is the back side there and finally I left this edge open but it's glued down here and here to make a little pocket in the back and one more little piece so I hope this gives you some ideas if you got the December 2022 box if you have it if you wanted ideas for how to use it in journaling or if you're just 
doing a sewing theme journal. Hopefully this gives you some ideas. Um, and I, and even if you're not doing that theme, maybe you got some ideas from it. So let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks again for watching and have a wonderful and creative day. Bye!